What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome back to Mega Arena today's sponsor and a brilliant team based 5v5 shooter from mobile and PC with a perfect mix between casual pick up and play fun and skill based competitive play. Use my QR code on screen or the links down below to try it out yourselves and top with a big startup pack worth $25. In today's video, I want to show you the new robot Gatecrasher. It's a brand new legendary robot that I just obtained myself, and he has a very interesting ion pot ability that is very tricky to use and can be used in different ways. You can hit it directly on an enemy robot, attach it to him, and two seconds later he explodes, or you hit it into the wall like this, and behind this it will create this ion beam for uh, five, eight seconds or so, dealing a lot of damage over time and also a lot of even more damage at once when you connect this. Um, so, yeah, very interesting. You can hit robots directly and they carry the effect with them and explode and hit everyone around them. Or, like I said here, you hit it against a cover and you can dig out enemies behind cover who are camping. For example here, this guy just opened the shield, but this effect sticks on the shield and now the ion beam goes into his shield and I hit him with a big explosion that comes in the beginning of that ion strike and then over time it deals like 900 damage right now at my level. I haven't had this level. This robot isn't maxed yet. Um, it's actually not very far leveled, so I'm not yet dealing this much damage. Um, but uh, it's already doing a good amount of damage and it's very interesting to play with it. And I think I'm gonna level this up further because this thing is really fun to play. It's also quite a tanky robot, the Gatecrasher. Has a lot of HP, at least when you have him better leveled. Um, again, this is something I don't yet have. But you see here the 850 ticks, that was once again the ion beam uh, that is sticking to that box. And behind the box, it, it triggers that beam. And it's very, very interesting. Here, I, I, I hit him and made 8.9 thousand damage uh, two seconds later. I hit that kill shot as he was coming by. He got a direct hit. And so my ion pot sticks on him and it follows him around and then boom, it explodes. And uh, everybody caught in it gets uh, gets some damage. And it's really interesting. I like this so much because it's such a tricky way to play. Uh, people trying to shoot from behind cover or whatever, you can dig him out. Look, like what I'm doing here, I'm putting this against the wall here, boop. And now behind this is Voots and he gets like 12,000 damage plus the damage ticks from the beam after. Uh, and just so you know, if I hit him directly with the energy pot, it will only deal the 8,900 damage. So you actually deal more damage when you hit the area and trigger with the beam hit afterwards rather than hitting directly and triggering the pot to explode. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say because it is a little bit confusing, um, but it, it's a very, very fun play style, this robot here. And um, especially when people can't hide behind cover or they're coming towards the edge and you already placed the bomb there and so they come to it and, boom, and they get hit by an iron beam that comes out of the wall, you know? Really interesting and so much fun to play with this thing. Um, and here you see one of my best situations I had with this robot. Uh, like I said, due to the fact that it wasn't very well leveled, uh, I, I kind of got shot down really quickly. Usually I take one or two shots from long range snipers and I'm gone. But here I attach this and boof! 9200! There you go, buddy. And if there's multiple enemies in one location, they all get hit by this and take that full damage, right? It's really awesome. So, uh, we're still in the game, and this guy, okay, let's sending my rockets barrage over there. Doing some decent damage, actually. I like that these rockets have a lot of range. They are not guided, so you have to really hit whatever is on the other side relatively well. Um, but they also have some splash damage, and you will see situations later where I hit or three, three guys at once by just splashing in the middle with all those rockets. And then on top you can send that ion pod in there as well and then hit even more damage. So I'm really hoping I can get this robot leveled up um, further so that I can uh, maybe make another video sometime soon with a maxed version of this thing. Um, right now it uh, only has 16 energy capacity, which okay is okay for these type of weapons I have here. Um, but, uh, oh, was it, did it, was it a hit? Ah, no, it wasn't a hit. Okay. I was, uh, if I, if I hit him, then it will be, uh, some damage he can't shake off. I think fully maxed, uh, the explosion pot when it's on you deals about almost 60,000 damage or so. If, if I've seen this correctly, I've seen some videos, and I feel like it does around 60,000. And probably even more if you hit somebody with that energy ion beam coming out of the wall initially and with the overtime beam. Oh, that was a good hit, and boom! Oh, both guys got hit! You saw this, right? That was 18,000-something damage that I just did. 
uh, with that uh, ion pot because it hit both guys at the same time. Now imagine this thing being maxed, that would be 120,000 damage right there uh, if it does like 60,000 with that explosion. So yeah, definitely going to aim for a higher level on this robot. Super fun to play around. Um, right now I have to play so incredibly careful. Every single shot I take is so fatal because I, I just have so much, so little HP. I think that was a hit. Boom, yeah! Again, I hit two guys with this. Awesome. Yeah, man, and then he was down to being a one-hit kill. Next guy also. Bam, 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 bam. Here comes my rocket self. Oh, I didn't get the kill though. Oh, wait, I did get the kill? I got it super late this time. Alright, was that a hit too? Dude, that was also a hit. Man, I'm super accurate right now with the rocket launch, uh, with this ion pod. Every time I fire the iron pod, it hits somebody <laughs> over the distance. Because it's actually rather tricky to get this thing connected with a robot directly. Um, and, uh, oh, 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 I think this may have been good too. Boom, yeah! Dude, I'm really, I'm really lucky right now. This, uh, but like I said, this was basically my best situation I had. And, um, yeah, so we're, we're right here enjoying that together. Alright, bup, 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 bup. Another, and I think, yup, that was, that was full salvo with all my rockets. And at the same time, the iron pot was also connected and did an extra damage around it. Uh, unfortunately, now I get destroyed and I'm using the Surge robot, which is by far my most powerful robot because it's fully maxed. This thing I actually have fully maxed. 93,000 HP. Uh, it's uh, other robots would have 140,000 or so because this here is not a tank, but it's a very deadly assassin robot, and um, and it deals a lot of damage and it uh, and it can trigger that stealth and it can trigger the blackout uh, combined with this long dash it does. So yeah, it's a really really interesting powerhouse and uh, something I always do good with. As you probably know, Mechorina has tons of awesome mechs with unique abilities, a huge variety of weapons, and literally thousands of ways to customize your play. You can also go play different game modes such as Control Point Capture, 5v5 or 2v2 Deathmatch or Special Tournaments, and of course you can always decide to play solo or with your friends in co-op. And this month is the last opportunity to get Neymar Jr., the soccer legend, as a limited edition pilot in the game. He's the best pilot in the game, boosting your assault and missile weapon damage, as well as boosting the sprint ability of your robot. Uh, all you gotta do in order to get him is log in for 7 days before December 18th and he's all yours. So don't miss out on that. And we have also the Battle Pass Season 13 going on right now, so there's a lot happening. Alrighty, back in the next match, ladies and gentlemen, let's splash some enemies with these rocket launchers and the iron pot some more, right? Um, you'll see there is plenty of opportunities for me to hit multiple enemies with the splash damage. And that's the interesting thing is about this setup, I have splash damage on the built-in ability of the robot and on the weapon itself too. So uh, no matter what I shoot, it all triggers uh, area effect damage and uh, hits multiple enemies at, a, at, the, at the same time. So, what do we have here? Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, yes, he got a good amount of damage from that. And here we have some dudes coming up there. I connected the ion pot, but then he got sniped off. Um, and he also was disabled by a Safier robot. Now that guy went right into the f into my rockets. He got it right to the face, dude. <laughs> Man, that was not healthy. All right, and I'm connecting my ion pot here, whoop, right through the gap. And boom, hit two guys with it. And look at this splash damage. Look, boom, 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 boom. I think I just got two or three kills like, right there. Dude, they were all standing so close together and my full rocket barrage comes in and hits everyone at the same time. That guy also ca caught the nice explosion effect from the pot. And, uh, and then I got destroyed, unfortunately. And now, next situation here. Uh, this is also a longer one and it shows, it goes to show that my best gameplay situations I always have with the, um, with a surge robot. Like, no matter how well I do with uh, some other robot, my search robot will always do better. Um, here, I'm getting absolutely whooped by different angles from um, from these uh, the javelin racks. Uh, and then, I'm spawning my, uh, my search. And let's have a look at that gameplay session that I'm having here. Look, I'm searching in, boom, both of these guys disabled, okay? So, doing some nice damage here. Uh, and, oh, walking into a mine, that was unfortunate, but yeah, and for, uh, thankfully this thing does have a lot of HP because it is nicely well leveled. And uh, so, let's get, a, let's get in from the side, because I want to hit them all. I want to disable all these robots at the same time. Boom, look at this. Now a splash damage, one kill, two kills, boom, boom, boom. And that was almost the third kill right there. 
And uh, if you think that was a good situation, just wait for the next one, man. That's gonna be crazy. Pam, pam, double splash, two guys killed. Next guy, pam, three guys killed. Dude, these freaking uh, uh, weapons I'm using here, the disc launcher, is so good on this robot. It is such a good combination, and uh, I can make such good use of this uh, with the dash and the blackout that I do. Um, boom, boom, next guy to gone. Woods, woods, more shots in there. I mean, look at this. I could never do this well with uh, with my low-level gate crasher. Maybe if I have him leveled better. B but th because that's the big advantage that this um, this surge robot has right now. He's so well leveled. Again, gotten two kills. Now this champ up there, he's attacking my beacon, and I can't use my ability yet. But he's just turned around in that moment. Bam! And now I'm going behind him because then I can do double damage when I hit him from in his uh, lower and weaker backside. And, uh, and since he's disabled, he couldn't do anything about it, right? It's the crazy thing about this. Um, that Surge robot is really, really a beast. Here, same thing. Boom, 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 boom. Unfortunately, he was left alive with just this one little tiny bit of HP uh, that I will be dropping any second now. Pop. Nice. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, this guy's trying to get away from me, but no, sir. All right, so yeah, that was my video with a gate crasher and also some Surge gameplay. Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android, iOS, and PC, so make sure to use my QR code on screen or the links down below to kickstart your play with this special starter pack worth $25. A Firelight skin, a Prodigy crate, and a Plasma Cannon 4. And then come find me in the game under the name Just The Money.